Okay, so we can start. Uh, our topic today is new programs for secondary school, and uh, we will talk about what's, what's hot and what is not uh, hot about these uh, programs. So, um, what exactly we are going to talk about uh, is what is new, what stayed the same, how to design lesson planning, and how to actually incorporate um, these new tendencies to, uh, into your lesson. And um, in which forms do we use new programs? Can you answer? Which year of studying? You can, you can write it to the chat. Yeah, that's right. So uh, we use new programs only for uh, secondary schools, which are fifth, uh, ninth grades. And um, there are no changes for the first and fourth, uh, or tenth and eleventh forms this year. Uh, and what uh, what should we know about these programs? So general information is that a uh, new program is uh, mostly built on some, um, it, it became closer to European standards. And uh, first, it's all about communicative approach, uh, social linguistic skills development, and real world education, especially real world communication, uh, which is actually, um, as they say, meta subject meta subjective uh, they are talking about competencies and we will see uh, what are these competencies uh, and of course 21st century skills do you know 21st century skills the rule of 4c can you name those you can also write it to the chat And please choose choose uh, all participants in the chat. Communication, yes, somebody wrote communication. That's right. What else? Business. Okay, I will I will give you a, a hint. We have the rule of yes, critical thinking, communicating. Oh, somebody's writing in Russian, please. Yes, creativity, communication. Okay, let's let's critical and one more. We have creativity, communication, critical thinking. What else? Hmm. Let's look at that. Uh, it's collaboration. You see it here. So these are. 21st century skills and uh, the new new curriculum, new program uh, is supposed to um, well to reveal all these skills and to uh, teach our students um, these skills. Uh, and uh, looking uh, looking closer to uh, at uh, the program, uh, let's see ten key competencies. And uh, the first one is about
Can you hear me now? Oh, thanks, God. Okay. So let's move on. Is is the sound normal? Because uh, I guess uh, my microphone went wrong. I don't know. Yes. Okay. Right. Let's continue with this kind of sound, uh, and let's talk how to. Um, uh -huh. uh, we talked on integrated uh, content lines and ways of their incorporation. So what are these uh, content lines? Um, let's speak closer. Uh, you've seen them in the program, uh, in the curriculum. So uh, the first one is ecological uh, safety and uh, permanent development. The second one is civil responsibility. Uh, the third one is health and uh, safety. And uh, the last one is entrepreneurship and uh, financial awareness, right? Uh, and <clears throat> all, all these um, lines should be somehow incorporated into different topics. Not, of course, all of them should be used during the lessons. Uh, but um, the Ministry of Education chose the, the most important ones, uh, the most important for now, as they think. Uh, and um, here, here we have four of them. Um, how, how to work with this and where are they? You can see that uh, it, it's not everywhere, ecological safety, for example, and uh, the permanent de uh, development. Uh, it's not everywhere. Yeah, you see in different topics, we have uh, different uh, content lines. Uh, presented and uh, yeah, for example, there, there are no uh, in food topic, uh, but uh, lots um, lots of like lines uh, according to health and uh, safety. So you see, you incorporate them uh, according to the topic, and uh, it is um, actually. Um, the same content as uh, the previous in the in the previous program in the previous curriculum, but uh, the form is a little bit different. Uh, and we have these lines uh, with different uh, descriptors for the sixth, eighth, ninth form as well as for the fifth form. And, and um, while uh, once students. Um, are growing or becoming more educated, these lines uh, become more complex and afford with their age uh, more and more. Um, so uh, if we had in the fifth form, we uh, had a lot of uh, safety and health. Uh, for the ninth form, we will have a lot of um, <coughs> civil responsibility uh, lines. Uh, and moving on, uh, the next one is about evaluation, or as uh, it is presented in, uh, in the program, expected results. Uh, what are the expected results? They are now called um, receptive, interactive, and productive. Uh, what do you think? What are... Okay, still no sound. I'm checking. No, now the sound is okay. Okay, sorry. Uh, so, talking about receptive, uh, receptive expected results, what uh, can they be? What do you think? You can type it into the chat. I would ask you to type. What are receptive results? What is receptive language? Reading, listening, right you are. Uh, what about interactive results? Speaking dialect, that's right. And uh, productive is communication, writing and speaking, write you are. So it's here in interactive results, we're talking about uh, real communication, about uh, dialogue, 
Um, and then here in productive results, we have uh, writing and analysts, the ability to uh, speak for longer time and uh, not with a partner, right? Uh, so <clears throat> uh, here we have a different um, different descriptors as well, yeah, uh, skills and uh, what these skills should be uh, in uh, different ranks. Uh, the same as we had in the previous program, right? Uh, the next part is, oh, well, uh, again, talking about uh, the evaluation and expected results. Uh, what is one of the most important changes uh, that um, for now we don't have in between results? Uh, our results, our students' results, should be only in the end of the ninth form. And uh, now it's, it's it completely accords with um, CEFR. What is CEFR? And again, I would ask you to write it uh, to the chat. What is CEFR? Yeah, that's right. A1, A2, do you know uh, what the disaggregation stands for? Uh, I, I will show you, yeah. Common European Framework and R stands for references. Uh, no, it's not certificate of knowledge. It's about uh, the levels, yes, the the uh, levels of uh, language. And here, that's what you've written. It's A1, A2. Uh, yeah, <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you, everybody, who, who answers in, in the chat. Uh, and B1, B2, so which which of the CFR levels should be uh, in the end of at the end of the ninth form? A2, B1, yeah, different different answers. All of you are right. Uh, but I would like you to, to know one more thing. Actually, these uh, CEFR levels are created by uh, Cambridge University. And um, now there, um, there is not a tendency because these levels become more detailed and uh, they are creating um, plus levels. We will have a 1, a 2 plus. B1, B1 plus, uh, so A2 plus <clears throat> is in the program and it's for future because uh, very soon Cambridge will present these um, new CFR levels, uh, more detailed levels, uh, these in between levels. Uh, and uh, for, uh, yeah, and here you can see the uh, exams. The exams have different things. Uh, and uh, for the ninth form, we have three different uh, levels required, um, and uh, A2 plus is there. Don't don't get scared. This level is real. It's not something uh, we created here. Yeah, it's uh, it's real, and very soon um, <clears throat> you will you will see uh, the detail key for um, requirements at this level. <clears throat> but uh, in our program, in the ministry program, uh, you see that uh, for specialized, specialized schools we have, uh, oh sorry, uh, for schools where English is the, um, the first language but not specialized school, we have A2. Uh, plus A2 for uh, schools with English as the second foreign language and uh, B1 for um, you know, specialized schools. And you can see here
Yes, we, we won. We have for the 11th form if, uh, if the score is not specialized, but uh, and if we won first. But we have we won uh, in the at the end of the ninth form for specialized school for, uh, for schools with English language bias. Okay, moving on. Um, what is new or what are uh, what is some new terminology uh, we have these expected results receptive um, uh, receptive productive and interactive uh, so now it's, it's uh, very important because they are um, the most important they, they are the first place uh, we have integrated content lines uh, which are also important to integrate to incorporate into each lesson one of these lines uh, because it becomes the aim of uh, this curriculum. Uh, we have language equipment or as uh, it is said in the curriculum, um, in the uh, So language equipment uh, or we, we could say language instrument set uh, which is grammar and vocabulary. Uh, grammar and vocabulary are not the aim of um, the situational communication. And uh, in our program, in the note, explanatory note, we have the general characteristics of situational communication. And um, this, this is about the topic of, um, of the lesson, and this is about instruments. Uh, used during the lesson. What is also important, teacher um, teacher uses the program as the framework uh, for um, for their system uh, for their own curriculum. Uh, it's only the framework, and it's uh, your responsibility uh, which language, which vocabulary, which and which grammar uh, you choose for each lesson for each. Uh, communications, uh, communicational situation, uh, and <clears throat> it's your responsibility how you um, how you get students to this B1 or a two level in the end uh, at the end of the ninth form. Uh, and let's look at the fifth form. Uh, we have <clears throat> uh, the same topics, yeah, the same um, areas of communication and topics of uh, communication. <clears throat> uh, and uh, here uh, you, you can see how it reflects in our um, Cambridge, uh, Cambridge English Prepare course. Uh, you see that we have <clears throat> some uh, typical uh, school life um, situations here with all the uh, vocabulary provided. Uh, all, all the vocabulary they need for this exact situation. Yeah, uh, we, we don't give a lot of a long list of words, uh, just the necessary vocabulary for this exact situation uh, according to this exact level. Uh, and uh, talking about vocabulary, uh, you can see here that all the all the clothes uh, presented. For this uh, dialect, for example. Uh, then we move to grammar. Uh, grammar, as well as the vocabulary, uh, this is Cambridge English Prepare for those who are asking. Uh, yes, thank you. Uh, so uh, we uh, have the same situation with grammar, which is um, especially provided for this communication situation. Uh, we don't need more grammar uh, to make this exact dialect this exact level. So here it is, uh, pronouns and determiners, and you can see them. Okay, uh, sorry, you can see them in the program. And uh, what, what is the great news uh, is uh, that you uh, combine grammar and vocabulary with the topics and with these um, content signs uh, according to how you think. You don't need to combine uh, topics according to some program, yeah, because uh, here 
do whatever you desire. Um, and, well, usually uh, we combine pronouns and determinants with clothes or with some classroom uh, objects, right? Uh, <clears throat> so here it is combined like that. Um, so it was about grammar. Uh, talking about uh, these integrated uh, content lines, uh, you can see how they are presented in Cambridge English Prepare. Here, you see it. Uh, yeah, uh, are things usually cheaper uh, there than in other shops in your town? So here we are talking about this financial uh, responsibility and entrepreneurship um, sorry uh, entrepreneurship in uh, um, the topic of clothes we are talking about financial responsibility and the uh, sixth form yeah level two is for the sixth grade <coughs> so everything is actually uh, integrated and uh, everything is uh, in in the course already. It's just the program that describes it more in detail and becomes closer to uh, European standards. Uh, and um, talking about other um, content points, we have um, mathematical. Uh, talking about uh, competencies, uh, we have this mathematical. <clears throat> competency, uh, yeah, the ability uh, to think uh, to, to think about math in English, to speak about math in English, to to make up some uh, some schemes and uh, things like that. And actually, in Cambridge English Prepare, uh, this is uh, <coughs> sorry. Uh, in Cambridge English Prepare, you can find topics uh, with the vocabulary on math and with grammar used here with math. And uh, so everything is already there. It's like Prepare uh, has been done, has, has been designed especially for this curriculum. Um, <clears throat> and uh, here it is. Uh, we also have, have another course, uh, Cambridge English Think, um, also uh, very suitable for this pro pro program. Uh, and uh, we will later see how all these content lines are integrated in Think as well. Uh, and um, you can see here that uh, all, the, all the needed information um, provided here in the topic of Again, shop, uh, all, all the uh, information provided in different uh, ways, uh, and um, they are able to, students are able to understand all the facts, all the information, because uh, the content of our Cambridge English Prepare is really um, relevant, up-to-date, uh, with all the topics that are interesting for students and bring them to real-life communication. So you see uh, here they have a test, and uh, the test is always uh, fun for them, and different, um, actually, competencies are um, uh, revealing uh, during different tasks, but not the test of language, but the test of their um, th their competency. Yeah, <clears throat> and uh, usually such uh, such kind of content as you see here in English English Prepare uh, really provokes them uh, for communication without preparation because they start thinking on some topic um, not because they have to use some language structure but because uh, they are really interested and they are at the English lesson they have uh, the set of vocabulary and grammar uh, provided before so 
they use it during uh, the lesson without preparation. They uh, have discussions, you see here, uh, the things we need according to the program. And uh, they can uh, explain how they feel because all the vocabulary was provided before. Um, yeah, and uh, talking about, again, financial uh, awareness, here, here it is. Uh, so you see that everything is actually um, integrated in the book already, and uh, we are not here to invent something new, just uh, to uh, understand how, how it relates, uh, the program and the course of English. Let me see how it works with another topic. Uh, with another uh, another level, yeah. <clears throat> and uh, this one is a Cambridge English uh, Think course. Uh, the one I showed you with the picture, this big thing, co colorful books. Uh, and uh, here is um, like an example of everything. Uh, at once incorporated into one small one small fact. Um, we are talking about health and safety as the content uh, line, the yeah, integrated content line. Here it is. This is the page about sports. Um, but uh, again, it's about new kinds of sports or something different, something interesting about sports, something that provokes teenagers to uh, think. Uh, and um, here we can see a uh, revealing of this importance of sport and healthy way of life. And as well, you see that in the English English thing, uh, thing of course, we have uh, a bit of Ukrainian culture. Uh, this is a small text about uh, Ukrainian footballer, and you can see my thumb on the background. Uh, so everything, you, you, as much as you can think about, you can integrate into the lesson. Um, uh, and uh, again, for Cambridge English Think, civil responsibility. Uh, do you know who uh, who this who, who is this? I would ask you to type it into the chat. If somebody recognizes this voice, no, it's from the movie, the wonderful uh, movie about a ballet dancer. You can see uh, ballet shoes. No, no, it's not. <laughs> This, uh, well, this is an actor who uh, played Billy Elliot, or it's not his name. Um, Billy Elliot is a belly dancer, and uh, he, well, he wanted to dance, and his father wanted him to be a boxer. Uh, and finally, he became a world famous belly dancer, but uh, he had so many obstacles uh, during his life. And Cambridge English Think is all about the newest content, and uh, this film is actually uh, popular among teenagers now. And uh, you see that there are different exercises, there is a big uh, tax before and different exercises that uh, provide um, thinking, creative and critical thinking skills. Uh, you see, the task is uh, to um, come up with ideas. Um, why does Billy get dislike Billy doing ballet? And um, that's, that's provoking, yes, that's uh, interesting to think about. That's um, the task is before the text, and uh, that's a big area to think for students. And how could Billy's dad get money for Billy to go to uh, ballet school? So we see here not only the, this uh, 
civil responsibility about choosing profession and um, designing the way of uh, professional development, we also see um, thinking skills that uh, lead to financial awareness and lead to even mathematical competency because uh, here they need to categorize, they need to think logically and that's about um, mathematical logical competency. Um, so <clears throat> if we move on in the same unit, we uh, have also provoking text, um, the pr provoking uh, questions about stereotypes. Uh, and uh, this section is called Think Values, and uh, that's again about civil responsibility, and um, they need to speak about stereotypes first, and then write an article about stereotypes. And it's all about, again, tolerance uh, to different cultures, and as uh, it is written in the program, um, the uh, understanding of the necessity to live in peace, yes, uh, to understand uh, different nationalities and cultures and uh, think various uh, sections are in each unit everywhere and they deal with not only nationalities and tolerance, they deal with uh, different values in different um, areas of life. And that's how they are um, connected to our program, because uh, there is even the special section for these um, integrated, uh, integrated content lines. And uh, again, talking about online safety, uh, it's in the section of uh, health and uh, safety, there is online safety uh, shell, <laughs> and uh, we have it again in uh, our Cambridge English Think, the rules of um, using internet, of using networking, and there are uh, again values, um, and uh, they finally lead to speaking. Um, what is also interesting about this unit is that also mathematical um, competency is provided uh, by um, this, th this is an abstract from the book, an exercise where they have to make up a uh, mind map and uh, find uh, different words. Uh, for um, uh, words that uh, deal with um, this uh, internet, di digital vocabulary, right? Uh, so, uh, and again, they have uh, a text which is also interesting to the task, which is interesting to uh, complete because uh, they don't have to put one text in order, they have to put the messages in order, and that's something that is closer to them to them now, something they really use in their real life, real communication, and that's the task which will provoke them to, to work on the text um, properly. <clears throat> and, okay, sorry. Uh-huh, that's fine. Uh, and also we have uh, Cambridge LMS, uh, which is Cambridge Learning Management System. Uh, and this, this is how it looks. Uh, if you um, register here, if you log in, uh, after you registered, you will have access to different materials. And um, for students, it's also a great uh, possibility, great opportunity to use uh, language online, to work online, and uh, to make this um, to make this work uh, as English practice, not only having fun. Yeah, there are a lot of educational games, and uh, they can do their homework there. They can communicate uh, with you as the teachers because there are blogs uh, in this system, and you can uh, keep uh, track on their learning. Um, 
And we have this in the program. They need to be a part of this uh, internet. They need to be online. And uh, we cannot get rid of this um, at all. Yeah, we need to work with this. Uh, and talking about uh, communication and skills in, in provided in the proper <coughs> Yeah, should be here. Uh, communication and skills. Uh, they need to have B1, A2 plus, and A2 in the end at the end of the ninth form. We'll be talking about this uh, and uh, how uh, how it works in ninth form. You can see in the book um, all about the ecological uh, ecological competency and. Uh, Integrated line ecology, uh, ecological awareness and safety, uh, and uh, what what they read um, is uh, really important and in interesting uh, content, which is again up to date and uh, authentic. Um, in the Cambridge English think. Uh, it's also uh, this is from the book Prepare, and this is from Cambridge English Think. Uh, this one is uh, about different cultures and tolerance, and um, again about uh, ecology. And I would like you to show one of the exercises. Uh, again, think what values. Uh, there are different well values. And uh, students need to pick what is uh, important, um, what shows that natural world is important. Um, and it's not, it's not like uh, we tell them what is important. They have this choice, which is important for discovery. They can choose and they can compare their ideas and theories, and all these statements are really um, well interesting to talk about and to think about. Okay, uh, and uh, again, we are talking about uh, logical thinking in this situation. You see, it's again one of the uh, the, the third competency in uh, competency in the problem. Um, and again, in uh, Cambridge English Prepare. Uh, we have different um, diagrams and uh, work with uh, with them how 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 to work with diagrams again. It's not only uh, natural um, competency uh, like about natural studies, uh, but also mathematical ones <coughs> and. Uh, such uh, work with di uh, diagrams uh, helps um, helps to uh, their students use uh, their language to describe them. Uh, and uh, also, it is um, important in the program to uh, be able uh, to speak about uh, your own town to. Um, speak about Ukraine to use foreign language in order to speak about Ukraine. So uh, for for Cambridge English Prepare, we have um, a component which is a companion for Ukraine. Uh, it's called companion for Ukraine with all the topics um, required by the program, and you can. Look through. You can see here that uh, there is the whole lesson about Kiev. Yeah, and you don't to create it on your own. There is uh, a component where you can get. Uh, talking about things, um, we see here that uh, we, we see here that uh, there. Well, this is an exercise in uh, which it's, it's called phrasal verbs, but I covered it. Uh, yeah, phrasal ver verbs, and uh, they need to <coughs> find uh, to underline them. Yeah, first, 
and uh, find definitions. So uh, this is uh, learning in the context, uh, learning um, the, this vocabulary not by translating or something, but by understanding the language really. Uh, and uh, in the end, at the end of the unit, they have um, all these words they need for real communication, something they will use during, the communi uh, during their communication, and uh, something they will really not learn, but understand and, um, and make this vocabulary their own vocabulary. Uh, and yeah, there are sections in Cambridge English Think, like phrases for fluency. Uh, and uh, here we have different phrases, uh, like what uh, real communication, how real communication uh, works, different phrases teenagers use. And usually this section is after the um, story after the photo story, or uh, there are also um, the video for these um, photo stories. And in the end, they need to uh, find who said each phrase and what this phrase means. Uh, so what is actually new about programs is 10 key competencies. Uh, oops. Yeah, competencies, sorry for that. Uh, 10 key competencies, <clears throat> integrated content lines, uh, and expected results. They differ a little bit. Uh, the same vocabulary, the same grammar, the same content is actually in the uh, program. So you don't teach anything uh, completely new. You just change the form uh, of teaching, uh, change the accent, the uh, and the, the stresses in your teaching. And um, what do you think? Do we need to provide in between results? You can type it into the chat. In between, yes, we do. No, we don't, somebody says. Yes, yes, no. I was talking about the ninth grade right? yeah. uh, The uh, A2 or B1 levels. Uh, so how how do we provide these results? Is only our responsibility. Uh, we don't have it written in the program now. <clears throat> so you are uh, yes, we need we need to provide in between results, uh, but it's only for us. There are no requirements because what you need is to um, is to make students use English language on level uh, B1 for specialized schools, A2 or A2 um, plus uh, for others. And <clears throat> you are to decide how to do this. So you're in between results. You set them uh, on your own. And uh, talking about um, the topic, uh, do we have any requirements how to combine topics with these um, integrated content uh, line or competencies? No, no, no requirement. You are to choose how to do this. Uh, so that's your responsibility now. Do we have any uh, changes in uh, calendar planning? for our own uh, curriculum. Do we have to change anything there? Yes. 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 A lot of yeses. One no. Okay. Somebody has already changed. Ludmila Shramko. We have our tape. So, okay, let me answer this question uh, from, from our perspective. There are no official requirements to make any changes. Uh, if you have your lesson plan, uh, planning for the year, uh, that's fine. Um, they, they are okay. You don't have to make changes. Some, uh, well, no official requirement at all. Uh, but. 
uh, as uh, there is such a tendency that people, well, teachers started changing them. Um, we have uh, specifically for our courses for the fifth non form, we have um, designed new lesson planning. You can see here that uh, we changed a little bit, we changed the form. Uh, it's here, yeah, you see. Um, different different titles. Uh, here we have integrated um, content lines. Yes. And we have uh, language equipment, which is vocabulary and grammar and pronunciation. Uh, and we have expected results, which are now, um, well, have different titles. So we changed the form, especially for you. And uh, if, if you would like to use new uh, lesson planning, you can use it. Uh, but again, I will repeat that there is no specific need to change anything because there are uh, there are no requirements uh, at all. You can keep the same lesson plan. That's fine. Um, Where to get this kind of lesson planning? Uh, it's on the website Linguix UA. Uh, when you uh, type it in, you will see here uh, lesson plans. Yeah. You click here and you will see Cambridge University Press. Click here and you will have a long, long list uh, of books. Of uh, courses and plans for these courses. Here is your think, prepare all the levels. So uh, please visit this useful website and um, get your new uh, lesson plans. But again, as you wish, you can change it, you can keep your point. Um, and uh, I would like also to show you English Profile, another useful website. Uh, what is English Profile? It's a long-term collaborative research program aiming to understand what the Common European Framework of References actually mean for English. It in to investigate what learner uh, of English is, is really like, uh, to develop reference descriptions for each level, and um, there are individual projects focusing uh, on vocabulary, grammar, functions, spoken English, and pronunciation. How this English profile uh, works? You see here um, different different levels, and yet yeah, you can uh, choose from A1 to C2, and just type in the word "lab," and you will get a long list of labs. Yeah, you see, left is for A2 level. Let somebody know something, again, A2. Uh, let go, uh, C2. Yeah, so uh, you can see different uh, phrasal verbs, different collocations, different phrases, and uh, which level they refer to. Uh, here it is, English profile or, yeah. Mm, this is what you need to type in, find it. And uh, I would ask you to, for yourself, uh, write down the, the, these take, uh, take collocations in order of um, common European frame, framework of references. Yeah, so you, you need to write A1, A2, uh, B1, B2, C1, and find in which level, which phrase, those. I'll give you 30 seconds to think about it. For you, for you to think where each phrase goes.
different frames work in, on different levels. Each frame refers to a different level. Okay, let's see. Take a picture is A1. What do you think is A2? Take care is A2. Okay, we have different examples. You can check it. Take up something or take something up. B1, take it for granted. B2. And take effect. C1, you see how far it is. <laughs> and take the plunge, C2. So uh, you can use English profile uh, for checking vocabulary and checking actual grammar uh, in on different levels to be sure that uh, your the, the vocabulary you provide to the students. Um, refers to this level and uh, if there is the picture about our education system well any education system I would say yeah for a fair selection everybody has to take the same exam please run the tree uh, <laughs> and you see there is only one student who can climb the tree and um, what, how to avoid this Actually, this new uh, new tendencies of the program are uh, designed to avoid this situation and to try to develop our uh, students in different ways. Uh, what are in different ways? I once uh, showed this wonderful man. I should show it with him. And uh, this is Howard Gardner. He is the author of the theory of multiple intelligences. And uh, you know that to avoid that situation and that picture, uh, that picture, you need to develop musical intelligence, mathematical logical intelligence, and actually you can um, see some connections to these competencies. Um, visual intelligence, natural intelligence, here is our ecological and safety uh, awareness, right? Uh, kinesthetic intelligence, a linguistic or verbal intelligence, interpersonal and intrapersonal. So all these sections in think and prepare, like think values that go here and here, uh, think um, self-esteem that goes here. Uh, you can use them according to the program, and you can uh, see that this program works with uh, all the courses. And uh, remember that teacher's role is facilitator, instructor, and guide. And why we actually have all these changes, um, there is a wonderful phrase uh, if the child can't learn the way we teach, maybe we should teach the way they learn. Uh, so this is why we have all these changes, because children change and uh, curriculums change as well. And we have to work with that. Uh, for more information about Cambridge English, you can visit our website, Cambridge Org, um, Cambridge Org Way, Cambridge English. Uh, you will see there different um, different um, courses, the descriptions and everything. And um, you can visit our Facebook page. And actually, here you will find the video of this webinar. And these are my contact details. Here, uh, the phone number email so please if you have any questions please contact me and uh, where to see the books uh, here it is linguist company which is uh, the official distributor of Cambridge University Press materials you can visit our um, uh, our office 
to see the literature. And thank you for being a part of this webinar. Please fill in the contact form uh, to uh, get your certificate. So see you soon, I guess, in a month. And uh, I wish you great teaching with new problems.